We've been marking International Women's Day today, and as part of that, the FA's biggest ever football session is also taking place at schools all around the country with the mission to get girls playing football. Yeah, and we can go live now to East London and join Arsenal and England defender Lotta Wibber Moy. Lotta, great to see you this morning. Thank you for joining us. We're back where it all started for you today. How much does it mean to you to be back in, in front of a massive mural of yourself by the looks of it? Well, good morning, Hannah. Um, it is pretty special to be here today. Um, I think mostly fitting because I used to be the only girl playing football on the playground here. And today there are 400,000 um, who have signed up for the um, biggest ever football session. So it's a proud moment. Um, but also for it to be in paint um, is even prouder for me. Oh, it looks absolutely brilliant, Lotta. And uh, look, uh, it's, it's a big day today, FA's biggest ever football session. So what's happening? Tell us about it. Well, Pete, girls are playing football and um, I'm so happy to be able to say that because um, about in 2020, it was only 60% of girls that could go to school and play football. Um, so today to be able to say that 75% are able to go to school and play football is, um, is very special and um, I hope it just continues to grow. How important is it for young girls to have role models like yourself in the game? Well, um, I think after winning the Euros in, in 2022, um, we saw ourselves as, as role models, but I think more importantly, we saw ourselves as having the ability to leave a legacy, um, a legacy that was tangible. And um, we did that through writing to the Prime Minister and ultimately demanding that young girls could go to school and play. They ended up um, pledging 600 million towards that uh, fight. And today, a year on from, from that exact day, actually, um, we're able to see 400,000 girls um, playing football and that's, um, that's pretty special to know that that tangible legacy has gone beyond just the final whistle on that day that we won the Euros. Yeah, because, I mean, it, it was incredible. That Euros win paid, had such a huge impact. I know my own two daughters, were, you know, went from not really having that much interest in football before that and then loved it afterwards, so it was huge. But only last weekend you played at Sold Out Emirates as well. Is this all just showing just how quickly the women's game is growing as well? And it, is it, in it the strongest place it's ever been, do you think? Pete, visibility is everything, uh, and I, I guess I'm saying that with, with a picture of my face behind me, but um, I think more importantly in the stadiums, on the TVs, um, kids have to see it to believe it, to, to believe that they can be uh, in those shoes, but even more so, like, it's not necessarily about them becoming a professional footballer, it's about them knowing that they can dream. I think the amount of soft skills that you can gain from playing football, from being part of team sports is massive, the confidence factor, the 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 ability to increase your mental health um, in a good way, I think uh, can't be underestimated. And um, yeah, a playground full of lionesses doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be on the pitch at Wembley. It quite literally is you being in the playground, living out what you want to be, who you want to be and, and doing it because you're allowed to and because you can. So maybe it's less so about saying, saying let girls play, it's about saying that girls can play and they are playing. Yeah, that's exactly it. And the theme for International Women's Day this year is inspiring inclusivity and inclusion. And it feels like we've made such huge steps in that regard. Um, you're enjoying on the pitch a fairly good season so far. Arsenal third in the WSL in the final of the Conti Cup. Um, as a team, what do you think you can achieve this year? Well, Hannah, uh, we are Arsenal and we're here to win the league. We're here to, um, to do our history justice, but more so the work that we put in week in, week out justice. And um, I believe in uh, myself, but more importantly, I believe in my teammates. And I think when you have that mentality going out onto the pitch, particularly with um, all the fans that we have behind us, um, it puts you in good stead to, to hopefully push on to not only win the league, but I think um, we can push on for that, that cup final win too. Um, so in terms of my role that I play in that, yeah, I'm enjoying it. And I think that is the, the foundation to then success for, for myself.